Okay, there's one or two things I want you to notice about this weld as opposed to the others. First is that there's actually a slag coating over the weld. It's not complete and solid, but the Harbor Freight wire, I, I sometimes wonder if it even has flux in it because there's like no slag on top of the weld when you're done. What I can tell you is that even just with these couple of changes going from, you know, having it set on minimum, having it set on maximum, and then changing out the wire and the tip, you can see, especially between these two, remember we have the weld settings exactly the same here. And this is obviously a much, much deeper weld, a much more solid weld. With decent consumables in the machine, Lincoln electric wire in this case, the drive roller is set to the proper wire size and tensioned up, you know, for real, including our little modification, and the right size tip in the end of the torch, it is possible to lay down a bead, to weld with this thing. Um, now, the Lincoln wire does spatter less than the Harbor Freight, um, but it doesn't do anything about the fact that this is still, this is an AC welder. Um, so where we are right now is frankly about as good as you're gonna do with this thing without getting into any you know, complicated kind of modifications. In the next video in this series, we're gonna do just that. We're gonna get complicated on this. I purchased a bridge rectifier and a fairly good sized capacitor. What I'm gonna do is take this AC buzz box POS and I'm gonna convert it into a DC electrode negative welder, uh, which is the appropriate you know, voltage and current type for flux core welding. Um, but I, I think, frankly, that it's usable a, as is. If you, if you just change out the wire and the tip and fix the drive roller, you, you could weld, you know? It, you could make jigs, you could make brackets, you could make essentially anything um, as long as the metal's not too thick, right? Because this is, it says 90 amp, this is really an 80 amp welder. Um, so essentially 80 thousandths, right? Which is not even, not even eighth inch. Um, you're looking at, at less than an eighth there. But you can make it work is the bottom line. So do this couple of mods and uh, you know check out the differences in the beads for yourself. I think you'd be pretty happy with it.